Hey everyone, it's Sensei Victoria Whitfield here, your journey partner in business, welcoming you back to episode 77 of the Journeypreneur podcast. This is your source for channeled holistic stress management techniques, guidance, inspiration, and motivation to stay on your path to rapid financial ascension and massive impact as a conscious entrepreneur. The title of this podcast episode is Your Client Attractive Bio. Now, I have uh, another speech coming up this week at AT AT&T Corporate, and I've been speaking there for the last five years. I think this is going to be like the sixth or seventh time that they've brought me back. Um, I know the people that work there now. It's it's a wonderful ongoing relationship, and it's a pleasure and a joy to get to reintroduce the power of meditation, holistic stress management, mindfulness um, to the entire tribe there at AT and T. Um, and they bring me to their Bedminster location the most, so it's so fun to go and see the Genoc, which basically looks like. Um, command central of NASA with all these like wonderful TVs and everyone's so excited. So I, I love going, uh, to speak at AT AT&T and every so often, because they keep bringing me back, they ask for my updated speaker bio, right? What's the handout that they're going to be giving out to those who are attending? And they already gave me the numbers of how many people are going to be there. So this is, um, a number of people that I get to connect with, um, inspire, um, and really help them possibly begin their journey of holistic stress management, possibly begin their journey of self-care. You know, this very well could be the first time that they've meditated. Um, and it certainly could be the first time that they're ever introduced to any of the yummy vortexy work that I do personally. And so the handout, um, it could be, and it has been in times past. So I'll let me back up the truck. Originally the handout that I would give out was like, okay, you know, go to this website to download the slides from today's presentation. Right. So it's more of a they go there, they give me their email in exchange for their for their name and their email. Right. So they it's that. um, How do you say one of my one of my mentors should call this the ethical bribe of like, okay, I'm going to bribe you with this freebie in exchange for your information so I could continue to talk to you, a.k.a. market to you, which is lovely. And. As I was journeying on it recently, and journeying, by the way, when I I say it's not just walking around, (laughs) but um, doing a very specific focused form of meditation called vision journeying. When I was journeying on it recently, I was asking my spirit guides, how can we take this even higher? Is there such a thing as a client attractive bio where I don't necessarily have to bribe them? Like, what, what does this look like? What would this look like? And the response that I got from my spirit guides was instead of bribing, <laughs> it's inspiring. How can we tell the story of who I am and what I do in a way that is so inspiring that it compels them to investigate, not just to download the PDF of the slides and increase the amount of digital clutter that they have in their email inbox, <laughs> right? But what what about this bio can inspire them to begin to shift their state as well as shift their focus? And I was, gosh, I was so turned on by this concept of like, oh my God, I have to rewrite my bio again. <laughs> I was like, shout out to those of you who are like writing your about page or writing the, you know, the, the bio for your book or just 
like working on your speaker one sheet over and over and over again. I really appreciate Lisa Nichols, how she says, you know, when people read my bio, that's my past. I'm like, <laughs> I'm looking at that like, that's all the stuff that happened before. I'm focused on what's next and what's the future. It's one of the first things that she says out the gate when she goes to speak. I love Lisa Nichols. She's amazing. And I resonate with that so much because, okay, here we go. Yet again, I got to rewrite my bio. But from this stance of how can this inspire them? Not because like I'm so freaking awesome or something like that. Or that it's, oh, you know, like I'm puffing myself up, which in all honesty, when I was writing my bio from before, I'm like, all right, let me put in all of my like credentials and all the places that I've studied and all the programs that I've done to like try and build, 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 build it up so that when they read through my bios, there's like, you know, crushing them with credibility. There's a simpler way. And I really do feel like I've, mm, I've gotten into an alignment here and I want to share this with you got me thinking of you as journeypreneurs. Maybe this is uh, something that you've been dealing with as well on your journey. And so, um, by the way, it, with this podcast episode, I'm live streaming it into my closed Facebook group. Um, so they, everyone in there gets to see this, gets to see me in action and hear it first. If you are not a member of the Entrepreneur Master Manifestors Facebook group, Go ahead, request, fill out the form, by the way. If you do not answer the questions, you're not going to get approved because that looks like you're spammy. I'm not, I'm not trying to spam you. So if you could just show me that you're a human being um, by answering the, the questions. It's just three questions. It takes like two seconds. I'm surprised by how many people don't fill it out. Anyway, <laughs> that was my like 20 second rant about uh, being human and filling out forms and following rules. But anyway, <laughs> the, the Klein Attractive bio is inspired by actually Russell Brunson's dot com secrets soap opera sequence. If you have not gotten uh, Russell's book, dot com secrets or his other one expert secrets, drop everything now, go get it. I know he's really, really hypey to watch as a salesperson, but he's amazing. And he gives away the farm. There are a few books, uh, that I've bought for my business that I find give away the farm of like, dude, if I just sit here and do what this book says, I'm going to make more money. And then I did. And then I did. <laughs> It's his books and also Jeff Walker's launch. Um, it's a big, the big blue book uh, that Jeff wrote. Those, those three. I'm like, oh, it's so juicy, so juicy. But in dot com secrets, there's this thing called the soap opera sequence that Russell writes about, and one of so what a soap opera sequence is is a, your. Um, series of welcome emails or messages or whatever your the way that you introduce somebody to who you are like hi this is thanks for opting in here's what I'm going to say and one of those emails in his soap opera sequence in particular came up to me during my vision journey meditation I was like this Base your client attractive bio off of this one in particular. Um, And it's essentially the highest point of drama. The point at which you realized everything is about to change. Putting that in your bio rather than all the piles of credentials and courses and achievements and all of that. Instead, your client attractive bio becomes more human and heartfelt and emotional when you're able to share the story of the moment that you decided to be on the path 
that you are on right now. And I'm going to right now on the air read to you what my client attractive bio is. It was a freaking revelation when I did this. I I'd so recommend that like after you listen to this podcast episode, you do the very same thing because this is is so powerful. So if you're woo, if you're on Facebook, I just dropped it. You'll be able to see, ooh, look how pretty it is. So this this is my bio now. Victoria literally knows what it's like to feel stuck at work. Back in 2010, she missed her window of opportunity to take care of herself at work, putting tasks and productivity before her health. This oversight resulted in her fingers being pinned between two 30-pound panes of glass next to her desk. She was trapped and alone at her office. This was the moment she realized that something's got to give. If you don't take care of yourself, that window of opportunity may come back to bite you. Since then, Victoria has gone on to become the world's first business Reiki master, teaching holistic stress management and self-care to professionals. She is a published author, a world-toured speaker, and hostess of the Journeypreneur podcast on iTunes. And that was it. That was it. I could have told you about all of the now five and counting Reiki master teacher level attunements and trainings that I've had, or all the complete list of all of the um, coaches and uh, teachers that I've studied energy work with, all of the the programs that I've how gone to uh, studied with Tony Robbins and all this stuff like. I could have gone into all of the, the you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars I've manifested. Sure, I could have gone into all of that. But this is their initial touch point with me. And we want a human moment, <laughs> an emotional human moment. What, what was the point that I went from like deciding to pivot, right? Deciding to pivot from being a regular human being, (laughs) just a regular Victoria to holy cow, I a hundred percent, this is my life. Like I, I am no longer just uh, some Reiki master or not even like before going for the, I'm, I'm not just some girl. (laughs) Uh, from, you know, from the burbs of New Jersey that happens to be really good at office administration and really good at tutoring people on the track to become an English teacher, right? That was my before. What the heck happened that caused me to pivot? And not just to to pivot um, to start my business, but to pivot, to change my life and my whole mindset. It was the moment that I got stuck in the window, right? That my hands got, and if you're listening in on the podcast, you know, I've told this story before, right? But the power of story cannot be underlined enough. (laughs) It cannot be underemphasized. So the, 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 this experience of being pinned in the window was my defining moment of like, all right, this is the point of no return. Why does what matters most is how you feel? Why is that a mantra of mine? Why do I care? Because, and I'm getting the chills as I say this to you, if I don't care how I feel, I put myself in danger. (laughs) I put myself in danger. I have literally worked myself into the hospital. So my client attractive bio is not meant to sell a product. My client attractive bio is not meant to um, be a gigantic credibility and brag reel. (laughs) My client attractive bio is actually meant to, to... be the epiphany, a very human experience. And I am super stoked and excited to get to share this 
at AT AT&T this week because how many people are in corporate America right now literally working themselves into the grave? You know, I never got to meet my grandfather um, because my maternal grandfather, because he dropped dead of a heart attack at work. He was super competitive. He's one of the best lumber salesmen in the region. Um, you know, Irishman with fire in the blood. And oh my gosh. And my, my mother and her sisters, they all would talk. They've told me tons and tons of stories of how absolutely magnificent he was. But I never got to meet him as his granddaughter because he dropped dead at 55, leaving three girls orphaned. Right, Their mother had already died of cancer, unfortunately, about a decade before he uh, passed away, a little over a decade. So how many people in corporate America are just not at all in tune with their bodies or taking care of themselves or even thinking about that? Like, the, it's, it's, no, this is my story. My story becomes their story. My story becomes their story, right? And I have like a big, uh, if you're listening in on the podcast, so you can't see I'm holding up to the camera. There's this headline that says, release stress, get unstuck, love yourself. And underneath that, it says work positive. And there's, you know, the big, nice picture of my face, by the way, shout out to Marianne Tang Hogarth, um, who just brought out my beauty in these photos, but the the story the story is everything so i wanted to make it a point to drop in on the podcast uh today in particular and encourage you to share your story but especially starting from the point of high drama because i've i was debating whether or not to even put my website on there because i know most people have either internet access or a cell phone of some sort, or can turn to somebody (laughs) uh, who has internet access or a cell phone and Google Sensei Victoria Whitfield. And when you do, all the things come up. Well, tons and tons of things come up. I was debating to not even put my website on there because my goal is not for them to download more digital clutter. (laughs) My goal is to inspire them and get them curious and hungry to know more, not just about me, but also about themselves and how they are not thinking about their health at work. Could they be working themselves into the hospital as well, right? Hearing my story might just be enough to change their point of view, even for a moment. I don't have to tell them about the houses and the clients and the, the thousands and thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands in, in certain circumstances that I've manifested for my clients. I don't have to tell them about that. I also don't have to tell them about like the romance or the physical healings, like the spontaneous healings that I've witnessed in people's bodies from working with me. That's all great. Well and good. But when it comes to my bio, the goal is to inspire and pique curiosity. I just want them to be like, ooh, I really want to know more. I don't want them to read my bio and be like, oh, I get it. Okay. All right. Cool. She knows what she's talking about. Wah, wah. (laughs) That's not attractive. That's just like, that was, that was it. That was it. No, no, I want you to be curious. Come study me. Come find me. Come study yourself. See the you in me and become infinitely curious because it was this painful experience of mine that caused me to be infinitely curious, right? And that is so much more attractive, so much more energizing, and so much more profitable than just giving it all away and doing the big honkin' list in your bio. And uh, after I do my talk, by the way, I'm going to do a follow-up podcast to let you know exactly how it went. But for all, all of the people that I've shown this to and read it to, they're like, oh my God, like the, there's like, it's an instant woo, like an instant juice, an instant magnetism. 
and kind of like, oh, that hurt. Oh, my God, I went into the window. But, oh, my God, now I'm a world travel speaker. What, what the heck happened, Victoria? This is so cool. Right? That, that energy. There's energy to it. Um, and I'm curious now. I want to turn it over to you as the listener. What's going to be your client attractive bio? Do you have the old version of like, here's my list of accomplishments bio? Do you have like all of the letters listed and all of the programs and all the, I know I did it too. I did it. Too. I like, I just wrote, like, I'm just getting, I have to update it in multiple places. This is kind of annoying, but good. <laughs> right? Is, is that you? Um, and if so, I would love to hear your story, by the way, send me your before and after bios. How fun would that be? If you could go ahead to victoriawhitfield.com forward slash contact and send me your bio before and your bio after. I would love to get to see the or even more so come to the Entrepreneur Master Manifestors Facebook group and send us some pictures side by side of look at the difference. This is so crazy. Right? Oh, I love it. I love it. I hope you're receiving some value from this. And by the way, if this is your first podcast episode, welcome. Make sure that you hit subscribe on iTunes at the Journeypreneur Podcast and hit that five star review. Type into the comments box, by the way, on your five-star review and share what was your main takeaway? Like what was the juiciest nugget that you received from today's podcast episode? And with that, that's where we'll end for the day. And as always, please remember to enjoy the journey. Do not lose your glow as you grow in life and business. And I will see you in the next podcast episode. Bye for now.